drop a good spice from wood and do a I actually have come to like exploration. So long as I can see the traps and can fight off the enemies when they inevitably come, and they will since the world of Ayora is a dangerous place. Death Trap Island. Hmm. I will return there someday, but not today. Now that I think of it, I don't have to be loyal to any one group out here, but I will choose those I do and place in the following ranking. The highest would be Queen Onikaza II, and below that, well, it would be the Rawatai, then the Principi, and then, well, there aren't any others. With Pelagina gone, I don't have to cater to the Valians or even to help them at all. It wasn't that Pelagina was the reason to be nice with the Valians, it was that I no longer need to play it safe between Rawatai and Valians. I don't exactly like the idea of a Rawatai dominated deadfire, and that is why I would place Queen Anakaza II at the top to represent her people over all the other factions here. I don't like what the Valians are doing to the Luminous Audra and the deadfire. I believe it should be stopped. The Rawatai would have me help stop them, and I support that. I will not go to war with the Valians and start attacking their ships, but I no longer just need to accept their ways here. The Luminous Audra should be cherished and left untouched not ground up and sold. So the Juana through Queen Anakaza II, then the Rawatai, and finally the Principi, in that order. Why the Principi? After my experience with the Crooksburg Slaver Fort, I've decided to work with Captain Eldis, so long as it doesn't harm the first two factions. The Principi may be pirate scum, but they aren't as bad as they could be, since they support freedom from slavery. Back at sea. Let's go west. We're going to go explore south of Fort Deadlight. What is this place, the Steel Preacher? Is it an island or a ship? Huh. Well, it's an island, all right. It not really seem like anything there but a little grove of trees. Maybe we'll come back at some point. What's this place? Looks like a few settlements, a burial site. Let's go here. What's this? A ruin or a mill, actually. And they sell lager, hardtack, luminous odor dust. We already looted some of these things. It's an ingredient. We can use that in the future, perhaps. Some abandoned settlement? Yeah, we found some hardtack here. Crap food, but it lasts on board the ship and feed us, even though it tastes awful. Burial site. The alien settlers brought their burial traditions with them to the Deadfire, which include orderly graveyards like these. A tomb rises from the earth before us. Its stone exterior is well wrought and decorated with reliefs of Tangaloa and Angati. It likely houses the body of someone important to a local Hoana tribe. Search the location. Three hours pass. We found 30 baby pearl. Worth 8, C, 8, 8 copper each, so quite a bit. Keep searching this location. That's 240 copper. Two hours. Um, four agate. Worth... Actually, their ingredients we can use... Keep searching this location. Two hours pass. S found Sigil of Nightmares Wardstone. Huh. Okay. Keep searching location. Three hours pass. Find a yellowed scroll. Scroll of Minor Healing. We're, we're almost through the whole burial site. There's nothing left but the dead. Some, see some fruit trees. Found more fresh fruit. Well, that's to be expected out here in the dead fire. We've got a lot. Fresh fruit. Oh, vegetables. Bleh. Who wants vegetables? Who want fruit? Vegetables are good for you, too. I know it. Now, here's a ruined tower. This fragment of a fallen keep stands like a monument to ruin and a beacon for plunder. The remains of a tower lie strewn upon the ground before us. The stone structure seems to have tumbled over during an earthquake. The tower appears abandoned. Not even a corpse remains. Search the location. Three hours pass. 
find blood moss. Yay. Keep searching the location. Four hours pass. Um, quill leaf. More ingredients. Keep searching. Four hours pass. Find a catch of powerful scrolls. Scroll of fan of flames. Use that in combat. Search every inch of the tower. There's nothing left for us to take. Okay, I think we spotted water to the north. Little oasis. Water. Let's return to the ship. Nothing really important found on this island, but it's just another island we've explored. People live here, so I can't really name it anything. Where's Bikarna's observatory? Yeah, that's where we're to go for um, that mage, that wizard. It's quite far away, but we're exploring down south here. Let's just keep going. First to the south and then to the east. Sand swept ruins. Have we been here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, place I don't want to be. Death Trap Island. Looks like there's a little settlement here on this side. Well, I think that's it. For the very corner. The southwest corner. Let's go north. There's this section here we haven't explored. This island. Yeah, we've been here. Not a place I really want to go back to. Very dangerous place. What oh, we spotted something. Just a small island chain. Nothing there. Oh, a larger island. Have we been here before? Yeah, nothing of note to mind. We were just there, I think. So, I guess this makes us explorers then. We'll come back to this island at some point. Okay, so there's a storm here. There always seems to be a storm just uh, north of Fort Deadlight. Go up this way. I suppose we can... Oh, I thought Crickspur was over to the east. So it's right here. What we can do is just explore this area. Keep going. And then go east of Nekataka. We haven't even explored all of Nekataka Island itself. Some dangerous areas there. Kept away from. Okay, what's down here? Murkwater Lagoon. We'll go sail past that. And the storm. It goes back and forth north of uh, Fort Deadlight. Let's try this area here. I hear a knock at the door to my quarters. You're not long at sea when Beodol appears at my door, wiping away sweat with a rag. He's one of our... He's our seasoned bo bosun. Begging your pardon, Captain. We've been at sea for a while now, but you've not been in a state fit for speaking for most of it. The sailor glances over her shoulder, then back to me. If this crew is going to be taking your orders, you might want to make a proper introduction. Let everyone know what you're about. I thought I already did. Are you saying I've got something to worry about? No, Captain. It's just tradition, and the sociable thing to do, Beldo chuckles. All right, gather and address the crew. Beldo calls the crew together on deck. The small group of sailors hang languidly from the rigging, perch on crates, and sit against the rails. Their eyes turn to me as I stride onto the deck. 
Oh, maybe because it's a new ship. Welcome aboard the Triumph, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Keldon Zafta, your captain. Glad to have you, Captain, Ikuik cries, eliciting nods from several other crew members. Hema smiles at me from above crossed arms, and shield sister Dahlia claps lightly. Well, what should I say to them? This ship is in boards and sails. It's all of you. I'll give you everything I've got as a captain. I expect the same from you. Aye, Captain, Ikuix cheers, sparkling, sparking chuckles. Pedal claps, and the rest of the crew join in, smiling and nodding. Maya thumbs her chin, nodding. Little Lucia, Luca, steps forward. Pardon me asking, Captain, but what exactly is the ship's mission in the Deadfire? I thought everybody knew this. <sighs> if this leaves a trail of destruction and despair in his wake, it's up to us to set things right. She crosses her arms. I'm not about to go against my god, but it can't hurt to alleviate any suffering that inadvertently results from his mission. Shield sister Dahlia whispers a prayer, but nods all the same. Baeldil steps forward. To good work well done, done well, then coin fairly earned. Ikuik cheers, and the other mates smile and nod. The crew split up, returning to their duties as the ship, my ship, sails on, slicing through the bright blue waters of the dead fire. Yeah, I thought by now everybody knew, but I guess I didn't address the whole ship at once, the whole crew at once. What is this derelict veiling ship we spotted? No sails, just sitting there. Hope this has nothing to do with that ghost ship. Beldo points the the bosun points at the ship in the distance. Galleon captain, a three master, where it was. Not remains of the ship's foremast, save a splintered stump, and the bowsprit has been sheared off. See how they crippled her? That's the work of pirates, Prince Shippy most likely, and probably the upstarts if they're raiding this close. The Valian patrol routes. And many leads in close. They'll have taken any gold, but they might have left supplies. Arena's brow was damp with sweat. We shouldn't stick around. If the Valians see us plundering one of their ships, they won't give us a chance to explain. Well, that's true. But I don't really care about the Valians. We don't really have anybody to impress. Pelagina is gone. If anything, we have... Someone too impressed that's against the aliens. Pull up alongside it, we'll salvage whatever's left. We take a small boarding party and scour the galleon. Most of its cargo and all of its crew are missing. But we do find several barrels of fresh water and a few uh, sacks of dried rice and coarse meal. Our competent, my competent hands make quick work of the task. We return to the ship and order Beodol to set sail. Rice, hardtack, water, quite a bit. It's not a small amount. Beodo salutes. Very well. The crew scrambles to their posts, eager to be clear of the sea. Once the ship has disappeared behind us, the crew abandons nervous glances for relieved laughter. Yeah. Well, the crew's already in good spirits. Good health, good spirits. I don't think that Rafik the Redbeard, do we have a bounty for that person? We've got Flamewalker of Vesseling. Why do I know that name, Rafik? Rodolf, kill Rodolf. We're really knocking off a lot of the uh, bounties here. Oh, they're coming for us. Why? Because we're not flying. That's fine. We're not flying the Prince Shippy's colors. <laughs> they have a Dao, we have a Dao. Naval combat. They want to be idiots and fight their own kind? That's up to them. 
Turn to port. They're also turning. So a gunfight it's going to be. Oh, they're faster. Fire the starboard cannons. Two hits. The enemy crew scurries to the stations in preparation for maneuvers. Oh, they come to a full stop. They're trying to take aim at us. They're firing. One's a hit. Ho, ho, ho. Well, we did hit their sails. Or, sorry, no, we didn't. That's our, you know. No, they've hit us better than we hit them. Not by a great amount, though. You know what? I don't really care to have my ship damaged and have to repair it, so. Let's give no quarter. Charge. Charge. With a deafening crunch, Triumph and the Siren's song collide, sending shards of wood and enemy sailors flying. Well, they didn't get a chance to fire again, so... Our gunners could use the practice, so... Alright, this is usually the easy part. Do they have any mages? Well, this kind of looks like a mage. I believe we're fighting Principi. I will aim for this woman. The rest of you, follow me. Oh, I don't have a chance to get across, so... Okay, Still got get right here. Could use some healing. Let's go. Yes, That's a little better. No. <laughs> Could use your friend, your help over here. Hey there. I think I'll just use my bow from here. If there's anything left, there isn't. That fight was a little tough for me. Okay. There's a lot of items I have. Let's take everything that we can. Take all and continue. Right now we just have to repair the ship. At least I didn't take an injury in the fight. What if everyone, anyone wants Rafik's head? <laughs> we'll be saving on to that. Dunnage. We do have a lot of bounties to go on. Return of the island here that we have not been to. More fruit. Abandoned village all over the place. We discover a small village nestled in a hillside. It's silent save for the whistle of wind through the open windows. 
As we near, we find the bodies of long-dead kith on the street. Their bones cracked and scored with the teeth marks of a large beast. Hmm. That's kind of worrisome. Search the location. Three hours pass. Find a small trinket hiding amongst the refuge. A ring. Could give this to Maya. Keep searching the location. Three hours pass. Found some pyrite. Three hours pass. Ingredients, fire kelp. Keep searching. Two hours pass. Palm stone. Oh, we can eat that. Search every corner of the village. There's nothing left worth taking with us. There's nothing here on this island. Oh, there's some water here. What is this? Another Principi ship. Well, if they want to come and attack us, we'll oblige them. Close to Dunnage. There's one more bounty that we need to pick up. Where was it? Um, oh, we just got this. It's to kill the Nagashaman. We got the Torkar, Katran, Andrin the Silent. We, we've not killed her. Haunts the Western Isles of Great Kuao Rikuhu. Hmm. Lady of Peril. We need to go to, back to Deserai. Deserai. So we've got three different uh, uh, bounties here. Take, Tahe. South of Nekitash. Yeah. I think we've got everything that, that Deserai asked for us to get. Deserol. Yeah. Where's the ship? Which means we should head for Dunnage. It's the woman that was... What happened? I think it's Radiant Court. What was her story? She had... Uh, she was aboard a ship. They killed her brother. Or her brother was part of some Prince Shippy ship. And they, the crew had him killed somehow. Or is it the ship that raided the ship that her brother was on? I don't quite remember exactly. Right. But she gave us about four names to go and kill for the bounty. I don't remember where she is, though. Deserol. It should say Radiant Court. That's where we are. You know? Yeah, Radiant Court. So she's here somewhere. Nice mast. Or, um, what do you call that? The bowsprit? This is Deserol. I welcome your return. Deserol gives me a warm smile. Hmm? She uh, dances a coin across her knuckles. Mirth, a bright glint in her eyes. I killed Lord Admiral Imp. So, the puffed up little charlatan is gone for good. Well done. 1700 one copper. Down. Just three left to go. If you're still game. Though her smile is sunny, it doesn't quite match the look in her eyes. I killed Lady Apparel. Finally, the lady falls. You already have my gratitude. Now take my coin. She drops a generous pouch in my palm. 2,500 copper. But halfway is half done, my friend. There are two more members of the Firebrand's old crew that need your... special attention. Tell me about your sister. A smile twitches at the corner of her lips. Danea was a wild girl from the day she was born. She came out of the womb yelling loud enough to make your ears bleed. And she never really stopped. <laughs> she chased a bad end like a winter-starved wolf chases the first fat deer calf of spring. It was only a matter of time before she caught it. But dead is dead. And reminiscing with you won't bring her back. So is her sister, not her brother. I killed Katrin. I hope Katrin put on a good show for you before the end. It was a difficult fight. Her grin is wicked, sharp as a jungle cat's. 3,500 copper for that. There's just the one crew member left now. Yeah, it was the first one we killed. I killed Torkar, the ogre. I'd say it's a shame to have lost such a brilliant mind, but Torkar didn't give you any choice. 5,000 copper. You've put to bed the last of the Firebrand's crew, my friend, which was more than I ever could have hoped for. Thank you truly. I can rest easy now. Knowing they got what they deserved. Farewell. Okay, back to our ship. 
Oh, actually, scenes I have gained in skill. Focus on mechanics. As you can see, I could <laughs> use that skill more, especially after Death Trap Island. Insight. My biggest gift. My biggest innate skill, I should say. Okay, so choose an ability. Stasis Shell. The Cypher is able to isolate a single enemy from the world, leaving them unable to act, but also unable to be affected by outside parties. Basically puts them in limbo so they they can't uh, fight. I don't know how long that lasts, but... So we'll go back to shi our ship. Back to Lifter's Refuge. Avoid Captain uh, Ferrante for now. I don't even know what to make of it. I mean, if I, I could return to him, but he's not going to be happy with us. <laughs> no, not happy at all. But that kind of sealed what he sent me out to do, so... And I'm sure he knows of it by now. We're really ticking off all the... Uh, Duties, bounties, and quests I've been given. Okay, right, let's sail. Let's explore the area around Dunnage. Sixty-four thousand in copper. Quite a bit. We can buy a galleon with that. We'll hold on to our coin for now, though. North of Dunnage. What is this? Place we haven't been to before. Kazuari? Kazuari. Looks like a bit of a dangerous place. A lot of jungle. This is a fair size island. We'll just circle it. There's something in the middle. I don't even know what that is. Some kind of town? How do you even... How do you even land here? There's no place, there's no port that we can see. Oh. We can't. Okay then. Well, we've explored around it. Maybe one day we'll be able to find a way to make landfall there. We're nearby Crookspear. It's this Principi ship. I don't know if there's anything here, but we'll just explore this last area. Then we can head east of um, Nekitaka. That would be it. I don't know what this Kazuwari is. Never heard of it. But I'm still learning a lot about the Dead Fire. Okay, so let's head east to Nekataka and we'll explore and take bounties from there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.